safe and sound Honestly, take it from me I'm better on my own My heart is found a home Finally, we have chased her out of this house Don't mind her, maybe she thought we are the kind of family that would have her where she didn't know so I am so proud of you, my daughter You are the real daughter of your mother I don't know what I would have done if you sided with your father I can never be like Papa instead of him to see the truth and say it, he will be finding a way to cover the truth. That is always my problem with him. He pretends as if he is too good. I don't blame him, Sha. And Kelvin took after him. Shy. So this is not a dream. Kelvin is truly gone. There is no one to give me money whenever I ask for it. At least you have a wealthy husband. He will give you whatever you want. God is truly God. He knows how to plan things. He brought Francis into my life. He gave me whatever I want. I hope his mother is not bad to you. Not at all. In fact, she is very nice. I'm always thankful for the kitchen and for family. God give to me. His mother is very nice. I like that. I don't want anyone to maltreat you. I have to go, Mama. Francis will be back from work soon. I have to go and make food for him. Okay, my dear. My regards to him. Okay, Mama. Mom, welcome. It's such a surprise to see you here. Where is my son? Francis is not yet back from work. You should have called me to come pick you up. When will he be back from work today? Mom, you don't look bright. Is everything okay? Did anyone offend you on your way coming here? Answer my question, young woman. When will my son be back from work today? I don't really know yet, but his usual closing time is 7 in the evening. Please have a seat. He never told me he would be going to work today. Yeah, it was imprompt. He was called this morning to be at the office. Maybe he will be coming back before night falls. That Francis of a boy, he doesn't listen to me. He always makes sure to do what he wants. Mama, why not go in and relax? If you had told me you were coming, I would have prepared something delicious for you. I should have told you I was coming. As what? This is my son's house, so I can come anytime. You seem to be upset with me. What have I done again this time? Same old story, Rose. Give my son a child. You are not a woman. Prove it to him. Oh my god, who am I seeing? Am I eye deceiving me or what? It's been such a long time, Robert. How have you been? I'm so surprised to see you. I am fine. I should be asking you that question. When did you return back from Germany? Three days ago. But you said, Patricia, you are very wicked. I didn't know you despised me to the point of traveling without letting me know. It's not like that. You know I had to leave because of the things that happened in the past. What will you be doing today? Where are you going to? I was just taking a stroll to look at the environment. You know I have been away for close to two years, so I want to see how things are. That is nice. Why don't we take a stroll together? It's been a very long time I saw you. I thought you were going somewhere. I was actually on my way to see Charles. But now that I have seen you, Charles can wait. <laughs> you haven't still changed it now. Please let's go somewhere and talk. I've missed you so much. Let's catch up on good old days and why you really left. Are you sure about this? I don't want problem with your wife. Please don't turn me down, Patricia. Okay then, let's go. You're welcome, Mom. Sorry I wasn't here when you came earlier. It's okay. I'm glad you were able to find out time to come home and see me. I hope you have no plans of going back. Not at all. I am done for the day. That's good. I want to tell you that I won't be coming back again to my house. I will be staying here with your wife from today. But why? You should have told me earlier before now. And why should I have done that? This is your house and you have always been telling me to come whenever I want to. I know, but I am married. You should have told me earlier so I could discuss with my wife about it. So me coming to your house now is something you would discuss with your wife? Besides, which wife are you talking about? Is it the man you have in your house? Mom, please stop this. Stop what exactly? You brought a man as a wife. Until now, she has not been able to conceive. Children are gifts from God. I don't care, Francis. Maybe her numerous abortions in the past is restricting her from getting pregnant. I am here to stay. Baby, you haven't said a word to me about what you and your mother discussed. I hope there is no problem. Do I always have to tell you what my mother and I discussed? So can't I have a little privacy with my mother? 
it is not like that it's just that the way your mom came looking for you was a bit scary i thought maybe you have offended her rose please find a place and sleep i am not interested in this conversation i had a long day at work today allow me to rest this your recent attitude is not accommodating at all why are you always hostile to me because you are fond of asking unreasonable questions and by the way my mom has come to stay i'll be going to her house tomorrow to pack her things what that is what will happen my mom is here to stay so make her feel at home your mom is here to stay and you couldn't tell me about it come on francis we need a little privacy a little privacy for what do we have children no so what else do you need privacy for you are so unbelievable I must confess, Patricia, you look so beautiful and healthy. I'm still in shock because I didn't know I would ever see you again. Why not? I mean, you are married to my sister, remember? Can you please stop reminding me that I am married? Can't I just have a good time with you? That is also a reminder to me. I don't want to cross my boundary or overthink things. So you left without informing me. For two years plus, I didn't hear from you. You blocked me on all social media platforms. I just wanted to move on, Robert. I was deeply hurt. I wanted to run away from that terrible feeling. I wanted to forget about you. So have you been able to forget about what we once shared? I wish I could. Now that I have seen you, you have awoken all the feelings I buried three years ago. I never forgot about you, for once. I kept hoping to see you again. What I feel for you is still fresh in my heart. I still want you. We shouldn't be seen together. You know how crazy Esther can be. I don't consider Esther to be my wife. I have never considered her to be my wife. You don't have a choice. It's been three years already. Such a long time. Yes, it is. But I still need you. Mom, I went to your room to check up on you. I didn't know you were here. What is the problem, Rose? Why can't you allow me to breathe in my son's house? Mom, I only came to tell you that the food I kept for you in the afternoon is still there. And so? Is the food complaining or am I complaining? What is really your problem? Why are you treating me this way? What have I really done to deserve this? Did you dare raise your voice at me? Because I'm getting fed up already. I tried my best to do everything to make you happy, but you keep being cold towards me. Tell me one reason why I should be happy with a man like you. With due respect, ma, I am not a man. If you are not a man, then show it to us. Prove it to us that you are truly a woman. It's been three years you got married. Show me proof. I don't give children. God gives children. Shut up your mouth and don't mention God with your infertility. Only God knows how many abortions you did in the past. I have done an abortion before. I still do not know why I am not yet to get pregnant. Continue being unaware. Very soon, I will bring a young, beautiful, innocent girl for my son. A girl that will give birth and give me grandchildren. I am very sure you had your mother and I arguing. As you can see, I am resting. If you have any complaint, wait until evening. I cannot wait, Francis. You need to know how your mother is treating me in this house. What have I really done to her? Why are you asking me what you have done to her? I thought by now you are already aware what you have done to her. What is all this? Do I give children? No, why are you both behaving like all this is my fault? Like I said before, I am resting. I am really tired and I need some sleep. If you have questions, go and ask my mother. She also made mention of bringing another girl to you. Good for her. Is that all you have to say? You can stay here if you want. Uncle, you're finally back from your outing, Abby. Good evening to you. If you don't mind, I would like to go to my room and rest. Don't move an inch from that place, Orbit. Where are you coming from? I thought you told me you were going to see Charles. And so? Charles just left this house a few minutes ago. He claimed he hasn't seen you since morning. And so? What do you mean and so? Are you cheating on me? I'm not really in the mood to banter words with you this evening. Allow me to go inside and rest. Rest from what exactly? We have been married for three years, yet you have never touched nor slept on the same bed with me. And so? So you mean to tell me you have been celibate for three years? You haven't been with any woman? I'm not answerable to you. I already told you that when you are tired of this marriage, you live on your own. So you are cheating on me, Robert. My father must hear this. I thought you were a faithful husband. Go ahead and tell whoever you want. I don't give a damn. Mama, 
They are suffocating me. I can't breathe well in the house. Oh my god, why is all this happening? Why is she treating you that way? I thought she really liked you. And this thing is not starting today. This thing started since last year. Although she didn't tell me she's the real person. And she's the real reason why she was angry. But that joy of seeing me when she comes around stopped all of a sudden. Please don't cry my dear. Don't cry. Seeing you cry breaks my heart a lot. I don't know what to do mom. Even my husband is giving me attitude. He's no longer the caring Francis I used to know. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't know mom. I love my husband so much. I love his family. With the way things are going, it seems I will lose them. God forbid you will not lose them. It is just for a short period of time. All this will pass away. His mother even threatened to bring another woman for him. If I don't get pregnant, Allow me to talk to his mother. If I go there woman to woman, maybe she will see reasons with me and treat you right. Mom, please go now. There is no need to waste time. I will wait here for you. Okay. Mama Rose, please stop with the pleasantries. I am not interested in your greetings at all. How about now, my in-law? All of us are one. We are family. The pleasantries matter a whole lot. It doesn't matter to me. I prefer you go straight to why you came to see me. First of all, where is Francis? Has he gone to work? Yes, he has gone to work. Any other questions? Rose came crying to me. She told me everything that you and your son have been doing to her. Sincerely speaking, my in-law, what you have been doing is not good. What exactly did she tell you? Did she also tell you that she doesn't have a womb? God forbid bad thing. Do not say such a thing about my daughter. She has a womb and she is capable of getting pregnant. Then what is delaying her? I know my son is capable of impregnating a woman. She is the problem in this marriage. These children got married three years ago. It is still too early to start talking about children. What is early? So three years is too early to have a child. Now I will. Well, I am not expecting less from you. You will definitely support her. It is not like that. I am begging you, my in-law. You are hurting my daughter emotionally. Please, pity her. Madam, it seems you have no reason to be here. Your daughter is a man, so I will bring another wife to my son. Please don't say that. It is not her fault they are not able to have a child. Tell that to the birds. <laughs>